the way lobbying works and the and the, the notion of lobbying. It's very effective uh, when you have a presence and a voice in Brussels when the, the legislative process is taking place. And this is very evident in copyright. Um, it's no surprise to, to many, many of us. Uh, but um, there's a report from several years ago now uh, by um, um, corporate, the Corporate Europe Observatory, uh, where uh, looking at the copyright directive uh, in the digital single market, the, the CDSM directive, um, that report demonstrates the amount of meetings that the creative industry has had with the Commission in the years when the directive was being molded. So this is not, this is, I think, is a span of at least four or five years. And the top place is uh, taken by the music recording industries, then publishers, composers. Um, so it gives us a little bit of an idea of whose voices were loudest. And uh, then when we look at the directive, we figure out the extent to which actually they were reflected, because I don't want to be totally one sided and, and, and very, very critical there. Uh, the directive changed its wording a lot uh, as a result of discussions. Uh, but the, the loudness of the voice of certain players was somewhere here and then others were lost in between.